there. All right, we're winning. Hey, Barry. So it is 7 o'clock. Go ahead and uh, start the record and start the stream if you would. Welcome guys, thank you very much for uh, coming to this uh, third test session in anticipation of our ham radio classes uh, coming up uh, in just two weeks actually. Uh, and uh, so uh, just wanted to cover a few things briefly tonight and I appreciate your participation because uh, uh, we want to actually, uh, one of the things we want to test tonight is how your audio is coming through back to us. Um, uh, Jeff, would you say something to me and just let me see if I can hear you now? No, I, for some reason I can't hear you. Barry, would you unmute and let me see if I can hear you? Hey, Gary, how you doing today? Is that sound okay? Yeah, so I can hear Barry, um, but Jeff, I can't hear you. Um, so you might, while we're doing this, check your audio settings. And that's another reason we do this is just to... Uh, uh, to check and see um, if there's local problems that can be overcome. So, um, uh, you like the black background? We got rid of the distractions. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not, but uh, we're trying it out tonight and uh, you can give us our feedback. Um, Doug, if you can go over to camera two, uh, you'll see that uh, we're, I'm in the same place as I was before. Um, but uh, uh, there's a background uh, sitting there back behind me. Okay, let me swing back over to you. And uh, now let's go to the PowerPoint if we could, Doug. Um, and what we're going to be doing tonight uh, is uh, to further test our live streaming. We're going at a slower streaming rate to, to YouTube uh, tonight, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. Um, we also want to inform those who might be tuning in just out of curiosity about the ham radio classes, free classes that will be appearing here on YouTube uh, in just uh, two weeks. Um, so I want to make sure that folks know about that. And then, um, uh, like Jeff is working on his issues to identify any local internet problems. Um, if you are going to be participating in the Zoom class, we may in fact put you on YouTube. Um, so if you don't agree to that, uh, this is the disclaimer, then you probably want to turn your video off and, and turn your microphone off. So just want to, to make that. Um, so last time when we streamed to YouTube, that was last week, uh, we were using the fastest stream rate that the Blackmagic Design uh, sets. Uh, that's nine megabytes per second. Uh, tonight we're using the medium rate of seven me megabytes per second. We're kind of going um, in the, the back room here. Um, we're using an AT&T 4G hotspot and I upgraded my plan to their maximum cap uh, capacity, which is 20 gigabytes uh, per month. Um, so 20 gig, yeah, I guess that'll be right. Anyway, um, after, uh, it was nine gigabytes. So um, after we exceed 20 gigabytes, which we would, uh, likely in the classes, it'll drop to 3G speeds, uh, but there is no cap. And 4G is 300 megabits per second. Uh, 4G is 300 megabits per second. 3G is 21 megabits per second. So we should be okay. Um, and the other thing is when we set the streaming rate to seven uh, megabits per second, it also sets the record quality. So I wanna see if that's adversely affected. This is all inside baseball stuff. If you don't understand a word I said, <laughs> don't worry about it, it's, it's not a problem. So for the ham radio classes, ham radio is the best hobby in the world, gives you a chance to use radio equipment to communicate uh, in your local area and around the world, depending on the equipment and the class of license. Uh, we have two tests coming up. The beginning uh, uh, licensing test is called the technician. And uh, starting on Wednesday, October the 7th, uh, we'll have a class that lasts about 10 weeks. Um, the day before, on October 6th, we're going to start the, the top level class, the amateur extra class. Um, and, and that will run for about 17 weeks, uh, maybe a little longer with a break there in the middle. Class times are always 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern for both uh, the technician class on Wednesdays and the extra class on Tuesdays. These are the books uh, that we'll be using. They're the American Radio Relay League uh, Ham Radio License Manual. You know, you're doing a live stuff. And of course, the phone is going to ring. So 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the American Radio Relay League License Manuals, uh, the red one is for the technician class, that's the uh, fourth edition. And the uh, American Radio Relay League Extra Class License Manual, that's a brand new book this year, that's the twelfth edition. Uh, and uh, so both of those are available from the American Radio Relay League. Uh, and usually they're available on Amazon as well, although they were sold out. The extra class was sold out on Amazon, so, uh, but they probably will restock it pretty quick. So the extra class to participate as a Zoom participant is full. Uh, we have now actually 30 people in the class. We um, extended it a little bit. The technician class still has a few openings. So if someone would like to attend the technician class, it's free. Uh, you would attend using Zoom and be uh, then part of the YouTube stream as well. Just send me an email at w4eey at awrl.net. Uh, ask about the technician class and I'll send you information back. Uh, so that's, uh, that's my uh, email address. So tonight we want to test a different microphone. We got a new Electret condenser microphone uh, to replace the dynamic microphone we had as our backup mic. Um, Dave, are you back there? Yeah. Would you do the honors, please? Absolutely. Do I have to hit a switch? You can take it yeah, out of the stand there. It's got a spring. Okay. There you go. And then the switch goes to the middle position. See Dave back there? Whoops. Let me go right okay, anywhere. <laughs> okay, it switches in the middle position, and we're just checking to see if we've got any audio. Okay, and Doug says that we do. And while I've got it here, let me just ask you a question, Gary. Uh, if there'd be a problem with Zoom, would our Zoom, Zoom participants be able to switch over to YouTube? Um, well, they could switch over to YouTube to watch the stream live, or they could always go watch it um, um, uh, after it's recorded and posted. But hopefully we're not going to have any Zoom issues. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so this uh, concludes the Mic 2 test. Thank you very much, Dave. Okay. Appreciate Do I have that. To move? Do you guys, uh, Barry and uh, Jeff, you heard him okay? All right, thumbs up is okay, what we've very got, good. so that's good, excellent. Um, now we want to test uh, audio levels coming back uh, from you guys. Jeff, say something again, and let's see if we can hear you now. Now, still can't hear you for some reason, so we're going to have to work on that. Um, but Barry, if you would unmute, if you don't mind, and if you'd uh, just say a few words. And uh, Doug, if you would uh, take him on the second switcher over there, go ahead. This is a test, this is a test. Can you hear me okay? Over. So I can hear you just fine. And did it come through okay on, on the? It's 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 um, um, not very good fidelity. It's, it's okay. Uh, well, it's. Can I say something again? Yes, talk again if you would, okay? I can hear it. Yeah, and the levels okay. are okay. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hope everything's going well. Uh, oh, the, the, you can bring it up over there, okay. um, above the, the position to yeah. switch. One more time. Hello there from North Carolina. I'm actually in the mountains of North Carolina oh, streaming from up here. So this is uh, it's about, 20, about 10 degrees cooler up here than it is in South Carolina. I got guys back here where they're shaking their heads. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't raise it. No. I didn't try again. Okay, one more time, Barry. I'm sorry. Hello there from uh, North Carolina. Hope everything's going well there in South Carolina. Hope you get your audio live. No, no, no. Okay, I see the problem. They're on the wrong buttons. So you're, this is two. This is, you got to have it on. Okay. And then, um, okay, so uh, then we'll put it on audio file video. And then the levels are right there. Okay, right there. Last time, Barry, one more. Hello there from North Carolina. It's about 10 degrees too. Oh, I'm oh, from South Carolina. A lot of home consoles up here. A lot of people enjoying the mountains this week. No, it's not that. that yeah. mm, okay, so there is a technical difficulty here. So n these are not being used at all. So that's not anything that we need. Um, that's an audio file video there. Um, that's. But we're not seeing any level up here on, on the camera 2 input, no. are we? No. See, this was the input I had a problem with earlier. We didn't have any video. So, okay, something for me to work on. <laughs> but that's why we're doing these things. Um, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Barry, for your patience uh, with us there. That's something that we have to work on. Um, but we'll get it uh, fixed before uh, next time around. So um, 
Anybody having any uh, issues at your end? I know Jeff is, is uh, diligently working on. Here are some suggestions. If you go back to the PowerPoint, um, please. Thank you. Um, if you're using um, Wi-Fi, if there's any chance that you can get a wired Ethernet connection, a wired Ethernet connection is generally always better than Wi-Fi. Um, if you must go Wi-Fi, if you've got a dual band router, if you can go on 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, that's generally better than 2 gigahertz. Um, if you must go on 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi, here's a, a um, website, and I'll send this out in an email to you all so you can uh, just click on a link. Um, there are actually only really three uh, Wi-Fi channels in the U.S. spectrum. Uh, they all use spread spectrum technology and they all overlap. Um, so if your neighbors are all on the same channel as you, there's a possibility of collisions. And so that's something um, that um, you might want to uh, look into. Uh, there are apps for your phone uh, that you can actually see what channels are in use in your area. Um, you can test your connection using uh, the DSL Report speed test. Uh, that's a good one to tell you uh, how much uh, downlink speed and uplink speed you have. And, um, if you're paying for one service and you're getting something else, well, you might want to contact your provider and <laughs> say, hey, what's going on here? And finally, during uh, the uh, actual connections you have, you can use a free software from Glasswire uh, that will actually allow you to monitor in real time the uh, input and output streams uh, from your computer. And then just common sense, um, close other apps on your device while uh, you're uh, doing uh, uh, teleconferencing because uh, you know, they can interfere with what's going on. Uh, these are all the things that we're having to deal with now in the time of COVID and the time of virtual school. And I'm sure uh, there are others who are much more expert and much more versed than I am uh, in some of these issues. Um, but uh, we're going to try to do some of these as well. So I just wanted to thank you. Um, are there any questions from you guys? Um, uh, Jeff, you could text me if you, if you got a question. Barry, anything uh, from your end? Yeah, one thing, Gary, I'd like to know, that you, you keep showing a schedule at different times. Is that on your website? Is that where the schedule is, or is that in the PowerPoints? It is not, but to tell you what, I will, I will email that out to all of the participants. Uh, I was actually going to do that um, with the list of everybody from the extra class, I'll send them the extra class schedule. Everybody from the technician class, I'll send them the tech class schedule. So we'll make sure that you get all of that information out. And then also we'll have um, links on Dropbox uh, for each of the chapters and, and whatnot that will have all of this material so you can go retrieve them at will, uh, generally PDF files. All right. I thank you gentlemen very much for participating tonight and helping us and we, we broke something else again tonight, but <laughs> it's always new and um, you know, but we're geeks, we're ham radio operators, so we will adapt and overcome. In any case, thanks uh, everyone for, for watching. I'm Gary, Whiskey for Echo Echo Yankee saying 73, which in ham speak means uh, best regards and uh, we'll see you in two weeks for the ham radio classes.